April is Arab American Heritage Month, and I'm super excited because we're going to share a recipe that was an absolute favorite of mine when I was a child. It's called fatayir, which means pastry in Arabic, because these are little spinach turnovers or pastries that are super popular in Lebanon, Palestine, Syria, and Jordan. They have a bread-like exterior and a tangy, delicious spinach interior. And my mom made the best when I was a child, they were my favorite lunchtime snack. And here to show us how to make it is Mama Vera. Nice to see you, Mom. Hi. Now, not everybody has time to make homemade bread from scratch. So you do have some great tips on how to use store-bought dough so it tastes almost as good as yours. Almost, but <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, you have to know how to handle the dough. Yeah. So the trick here is to let it rest a lot. Okay. So I'm going to be shaping them into golf balls. So like how this. long did you let this dough rest? Rest. This one has to be resting when you take it out of the refrigerator about 20 minutes or so, okay. at least 20 minutes. She just made them all golf ball size and we let them rest again. How long do you let them rest this time around? Half an hour or okay. so. The reason why you have to let the dough rest is because A, the dough is more pliable and B, the dough will turn out more fluffy. So yes. that's the key to using store-bought dough. And as you see, it's very easy to work with it. While the dough is resting, you get to work on the spinach. Awesome, let's do it. Okay, so for the spinach, usually we use four bunches of spinach. I like to use fresh, but you can use frozen if you want. Uh, with these, I like the fresh because, you know, these are tripled washed and I don't even need to wash them. And we want to just chop them kind of finely. This is another nifty trick. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. And what I'm going to do is sort of work it into the spinach, okay? And the reason why I'm working it in and kind of squeezing the spinach as I work it in is, first it'll season the spinach, and second of all, it will uh, take out that extra moisture because what you want to do is squeeze any excess moisture from the spinach because you don't want these turnovers to be soggy. And we're gonna put the spinach in a bowl. And then we're going to add the onion. So here we go, we're gonna add that. And then we already put salt in, but to add some more seasoning, we're gonna add some pepper and some sumac spice. Now I love sumac because it has a beautiful color and it has a very tangy flavor similar to lemon. It's actually made from a purple sumac berry and I really think it's an underrated spice. It also smells amazing. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of the sumac spice and three tablespoons of fruity extra virgin olive oil and the juice of one lemon. All right, now that we're done with the filling, Mom, let's show them how you make these beautiful Easy. turnovers. Now the dough. Let's switch sides. Most of the work has been done. Take each one like that. Yeah. Put a tablespoon of uh, stuffing inside of it. Okay. And then you pinch the edges like that. Mm -hmm. And you join this to make it into like a triangular shape. Mm -hmm. And make sure you pinch them really, really tight. To ensure that they're nice and brown once you bake them, another trick is to brush them with some olive oil olive or oil. melted butter even. You let them rest for like 20 minutes or okay. so, and then you bake them at a preheated 450 degree oven, because it needs its bread, and until it's, they're like golden browns. Wow, look at that. You see the spinach and the onions and the sumac. My favorite way to eat this is dipped in hummus because everything tastes and better in hummus. How yeah, about you, Mom? I know. Mmm. Mm. This brings back so many wonderful childhood memories, Mom. I know, it's so good. Thank you so much for sharing this recipe with me. I love it. You're welcome. <laughs>